Masonry grids are an amazing invention of layout when it comes to web design. They allow you to create tidy and neat grids, even if the elements inside of your grid have variable heights. You can see on my agency website, when we move down to testimonials for my clients, I have things stacked in this masonry grid. Some of my clients like to write really long testimonials and others like to just write something really short. This has historically been difficult to accomplish, but thankfully Framer has just come out with an update. So let's dive in and rebuild my agency site testimonial section using masonry grids. I have Framer loaded up and my agency site is right here on the canvas. You can see that all of my testimonials are actually stored inside of a CMS collection. That way I can aggregate these testimonials on the homepage, move them into the case studies that represent the project, but here on the homepage, I actually have them living inside of a masonry grid, but that masonry grid, not actually a masonry grid at all. It's kind of a fake masonry grid. Because I wanna pull these in from the CMS, I had to add CMS collections to each one of these columns. These are really just columns with the testimonials stacked on top of each other. And then I've just put these columns side by side. This is really difficult to maintain. I have to limit the amount and offset them and then start the next column offset from the previous one. And then don't even get me started when we drop down down into responsive sizes. It's just kind of a nightmare. So let's use Framer's new masonry layout feature to help us just manage this section a whole lot easier. I'm gonna come over here to the side where I have this component for my testimonial already laid out. And I'm gonna come into the insert menu, grab a collection and grab my testimonials. We'll drag that in and you'll see that it's gonna populate with all the testimonials that I have. I'm gonna grab my testimonial card. I'm gonna cut it from there. I'm going to go directly into my testimonial where you can see the image and the company. I'm going to delete all that. We don't need that anymore. I'm just going to paste my card. Now you'll see that each one of these cards represents the testimonial coming from my CMS. Now all we have to do is connect the items in the database and we'll be able to move on. And we'll connect the last one here through my database, just making sure that the company is selected. Now all of them have the proper information loaded inside them directly from my CMS. Now that we've done that, all we have to do is come over to our layout section, turn on grid, turn on masonry, and then make sure that each one of these cards is actually set to fill the space. Now, however wide this thing goes, my masonry grid is going to support it. Let's turn this into a three column layout, just like we have it inside of our project. That looks perfect. And then we can grab our testimonials and make sure that we remove this limit. That way we get all those testimonials in there. Notice how our masonry grid ebbs and flows. It's ready to fill the space and I can do this really, really easily. I'm just gonna grab this section. I'm gonna cut it off of my workspace there come into my testimonial columns, and why don't we just actually put it inside the container and drag it up above. There we go, we have that grid, and we wanna set that to fill. Boom, just like that, we now have our masonry grid filling the space. The cards are gonna fill the space, the grid itself is gonna fill the space, everything is taken care of, and I can actually get rid of this messy testimonial container that I had below. Now that we have this working inside of our desktop, I just wanna make sure that it's working well inside of our responsive sizes. So I'm over here on my tablet size. I'm just gonna take my columns, I'm gonna drop that down to two, and my masonry grid is going to respond. Then I'll come into my mobile, and I'm gonna drop that down to a one column grid. And just like that, we have a masonry grid that works on all of our device sizes. Everything ebbs and flows, it's perfect, and it just took a couple of minutes to accomplish. Masonry grids are a great way to display not only testimonials, but collages of your work, layouts that are super interesting and unique. If you haven't tried it already, just slap that masonry button. I hope you enjoyed this Framer how-to video. If you did, make sure to leave that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell so you know when more Framer content like this comes out. We'll see you in the next one.